everyone, it's Monday, Monday the 7th of December um, and day 7 of Vlogmas and today is a very special day for me, I don't know if you can just see over my shoulder, <laughs> um, today is my eldest grandson Jaden's birthday and he's 7 today on the 7th of December, on the 7th day of blog Vlogmas. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's all the sevens. Let's hope they're lucky sevens. Um, so today I am going to see um, him and my both my daughters, all three of my grandsons. We're just going to go into the garden and see each other and um, I can give Jaden his presence. I'll try and insert a picture of Jaden uh, here because he, oh he's a gorgeous, but I'm they're all gorgeous aren't they? They really are. But he's got, I don't know, he's just got the kindest heart. He really, really has. He's a lovely little boy and um, he's, yeah, he's the apple of nanny's eye. <laughs> as they all are and uh, he's got this gorgeous little dimple and um, I was there when he was born and oh my goodness I'll never 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 ever forget it and I had about a good 20 minutes just holding him and talking to him and uh, telling him what was going to happen in life you know putting, putting it right right from the beginning um, while his mum was getting sorted out and having tea and toast <laughs> <laughs> so that was an absolutely wonderful experience. She was marvellous. Um, yeah, she was she was absolutely brilliant. Uh, first time um, for her. Obviously, she's had another baby since I was there for the birth of of Leo, my middle grandson as well. And um, she was she was just marvellous. You know, she just just got on with it, and you know, she focused, and uh, she was definitely in the zone. And she just did it, and she was absolutely brilliant. A bit of gas and air, and away she went. <laughs> I wasn't like that, and nor was my eldest daughter, unfortunately, when she had her little boy. You know, and it, it is just what it is, but, you know, we're all safe and happy, and that's the main thing. Anyway, today I thought I would do a little bit of crochet with you. Um, you know I love to crochet. I've made a couple of bits and pieces, but I found a very simple pattern for a crochet snowflake. And even if you've not crocheted before, I'm going to go through it with you and hopefully you'll be able to pick it up and have a go. So here we go, a crochet snowflake. So I just thought I'd show you my view. As you know, I normally have a lovely view. <laughs> of my windows um i can usually see the field for miles but um yeah you can't see a lot out there right now well when i woke up this morning it was absolutely white and glistening and uh obviously now <laughs> it's not white and glistening but it's white and thick with fog so i just thought i'd show you my view not a great one and i think i might have to drive my daughter home later so <sighs> bit worried about that but anyway there we go there's the view okay I've decided to go with a three and a half millimeter hook because I thought it would be a good idea to see the sizing difference between a four and a three and a half as I said you can use whatever hook you have and I mean because there are any little projects you can experiment now I'm going to start with a magic circle. If you've not done a magic circle before, then I suggest you have a look at um, my previous crochet tutorial. I'll try and link that below for you. Okay, so when you've done that, we're then going to chain, whoops, three. One, two, and three. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do two double crochets. This is American double crochet into the ring so you're going to put your yarn around your hook go into the ring pull it through it's a bit tricky to get started pull through two pull through two you're going to do that again pull through two pull through two and one more time pull through two pull through two 
it's a bit tricky and sometimes it's tricky doing it on camera anyway when you get there you're going to do another four chains one two three four and we're going to repeat the three double crochets so yarn around the hook through the circle pull through pull through two pull through two another one pull through two, pull through two, and a third one, pull through two, pull through two. Now what you're going to do, so they'll push nicely or pull nicely along, along your magic chain, what you're going to do is um, you're going to keep going with this four chains, three double crochets into the circle until you have five of the three double crochet sets so another three of these I'll meet you back there okay so we've got five sets of three double crochets with the four chains in between now when you get there what we're going to do we're going to take our very first tail that we haven't been working with and we're going to pull it now this is quite satisfying because, let me get that out of the way, then you can see. This is when it'll start to take a little bit of shape. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to join my four chains to the very first chain on top of the three double crochet as a slip stitch. So I'm just gonna pop that in there like so oh, she says see it's so hard sometimes to do tutorials but i was determined to do this one because it's nice there we go and bring it through and bring it through to form a slip stitch and then you can see just put that tail through out of the way And you can see it's starting to take shape. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch across into the chain space until we get to the chain space there. So we're just going to slip stitch into those couple of stitches there that bring us along to that chain space. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do another chain four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do a single crochet into this chain space, just like so. Then we're going to do chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do another single crochet into that chain space that we had we're going to do another four chains one two three oops four and then we're going to do a single crochet into that chain space now you're just going to do this the whole way round and then you are finished. So I'm going to do another one with you. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to do a single crochet into that chain space that we have. Then we are going to do chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to do a single crochet into that space. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four, and single crochet into that space, like so. And you can start to see the little bits around the edge forming Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing this now and I will meet you 
at the start. Okay, so I've gone all the way round and I'm back now at the start and you simply do a little slip stitch like so, pull it through, grab your scissors, leave yourself a good good chain, you can either sew it in or you can use it for hanging from the tree and then just pull that through and secure. And there you have your little snowflake. Now, in the middle, sometimes these I find do come out a little bit. So give that a bit of a tug and you can actually sew that in and secure that little, little hole there. And there we have our little snowflake. Now, I'll compare it. I don't think it looks very different. Just grab this one. To this one, if I'm honest, I'll just put it up against. It's really, really minimal. Um, this one is a little bit, little bit tighter. This one a little bit looser. So really, you can just experiment. And um, yeah, there we go. Happy snowflake making. So that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed making your little snowflakes. If you would like more crochet tutorials or any sort of tutorials, please let me know. I'm always happy to do those. I absolutely love crafting, as you probably have gathered. And um, yeah, I mean, it's such a relaxing thing to do as well. Um, but I'm quite happy to do beginners tutorials or do something a bit more intricate that's up to you. So if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love if you would comment and tell me whether you had a go at the snowflakes, how you got on. And um, also if you could ring the notification bell, that would be absolutely amazing. It certainly all helps. I'm really enjoying YouTube and I'm really enjoying Vlogmas. So anyway, I have got a grandson, a birthday grandson to go and see. So I'm off to see him now and I'll speak to you all again tomorrow for day eight. So it's bye for now.